How to crochet the trefoil edge stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Out of the Box, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their machine washable merino lamb's wool in the color plum. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, double crochet. Row one, we're going to begin by chaining four. Okay, this will count as a double crochet and a chain one. Then we are going to do two double crochets into the fourth chain from our hook. All right, then we will do a chain two, and we'll do three more double crochets into that same stitch. Nope, oh, don't want to split our yarn. So that's one. Two, and three. All right, then we will turn our work. Row two, we'll begin by chaining eight. Then we'll do a slip stitch into the sixth sixth chain from our hook. So we got two, four, and six. Come right into there and do a slip stitch. Okay, then we're going to chain seven. And we will slip stitch into the same chain as the last slip stitch. So we're just going to pull tight on there and then draw the yarn through that same stitch. All right, then we are going to chain five. And we will slip stitch into the same chain as before. Okay, so now we are going to do a chain two. Then we will do three double crochets into the next two chain space. So that's this space right here. Then we'll chain two. And we'll do three more double crochets into that same two chain space. Okay, and then we will turn our work.
Row three, we're going to begin by doing a slip stitch into each of the first three double crochets. So we'll do one here. two, and three. Okay, then we will do a chain three. And we will do two double crochets into the next two chain space. Okay, then we'll chain two and do two more double crochets, or three double crochets rather, into that same chain space. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. So we're gonna repeat rows two and three until we've reached our required length for our edging. All right, so we will finish our repeat with a row two. Uh, that will give us a nice ending point. And then we're gonna attach uh, some chaining along the edge here to make it easier for us to sew on to our fabric later. So we'll begin by chaining three and then we'll do a single crochet into the edge stitch right here at the top of our panel. Okay, so we'll just continue chaining three across and then single crocheting into the edge stitch. And all the way across till we finish with a single crochet into our last edge stitch. And that's how you crochet the trefoil edge stitch. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.